I heard someone make a comment that the professors in our universities in Ghana hardly solve any problem in the country and that all they know is just talk and talk. This way of thinking has deepened in the mindset of some youth nowadays to the extent that they even make mockery of these meticulous professors. Well, I don't blame them. I believe they are not exposed to certain information on the ground. I don't believe in this assertion because I know universities and courses are established to solve problems in the society and that their articles and research works form a bedrock to some of the country's national policies and programs. Well, Jack Lenz decided to visit some of these professors and researchers so they tell us how directly their work affects us and it's important to the country. At least, these youth would be educated and would have a change in mindset. In this video, we will be speaking to Professor Isaac Ayensu, who is the head of the Department of Herbal Medicine and Pharmaceutical Chemistry in KNUST, where he educates us on his role in the herbal medicine and how every herbal medicine you take passes through their laboratories before the FDA gives approval. Yes, every herbal medicine passes through their laboratories. Watch to the end as he advises us on how to protect ourselves from quack herbalists and medicines. And also those who have interest to enter into the plant and herbal medicine should also watch to the end for an exclusive advice. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you find this video useful and also share to everyone who would find this video helpful. Okay, welcome once again my lovely viewers. Um, this is Joseph Kofi Japan and you are welcome to Jack Lens TV. This is a, a, another section of um, our program, our series of program that is dubbed um, uh, meeting the professor or meet the professor in fact one thing that i have personally witnessed is that in ghana most of the youth uh, do not value these these people we tend to think that uh, we don't see their benefits we don't see why they are there they are even just teaching students that's all they are teaching in the university but then this program is seeking to to let us understand that their researches their research works the articles they write comes into policy for us comes into play in our day-to-day -day activity so meet the professor this is the first edition we are here in a pharmaceutical department in knust a very humble man that i have personally known for some time but then I would be glad that all of you would meet, meet him. And he goes by the name Professor Isaac Ayensu. Sir. Yes, sir. Welcome to Meet the Professor on Jack Lens TV. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Okay. So um, I've mentioned your name, but then I want our viewers to understand who Mr. or Professor Isaac Ayensu is entirely or shortly what you do and who you are okay thank you very much um my name is prof isaac ayinsu i come from cape coast and uh, i schooled here at kn university for my first and second degrees and uh, by god's grace i got um, a prestigious scholarship to study in the uk and after that i came back to continue my work here at kn university and uh, through the process, I went out as a lecturer, I came back, got promoted to the level of a senior lecturer. Mm -hmm. And then, by God's grace, I moved on to the level of associate professor. From here, I'm going to full professor. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So that's... And I'm attached to the Faculty of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. Okay. And um, originally, I belonged to the department of pharmaceutical 
chemistry. Okay. And uh, there was some shiftings within the faculty. So um, I was made to come and head herbal medicine. So for the past two years, I've been here as the head of department. What is going to happen is that from 1st October, I'm going back to pharmaceutical chemistry oh, okay. to also head oh, okay. that department. So that is just a bit of what I do here. That is, that is, very, that yeah. is very wonderful. But then, um, viewers, um, the reason someone will ask, why are we here? <laughs> um, we want to understand uh, Prof's work. And I learned he's uh, with the department where seeks to cater for most of the activities of the herbal medicines in Ghana. So, but before that, Prof, um, pharmaceutical or pharmacy department, uh, what is the department in it? Uh, for a layman, okay. I, I okay. don't know the differences in whatever they do. Thank you very much. So, um, the Faculty of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences at the College of Health Sciences of KNUST okay. deals with um, offering two degree programs. Okay, the first one we call the PharmD, okay, Doctor of Pharmacy. Mm. That is a six year program. And then we have the Herbal Medicine degree, which we call the Bachelor of Herbal Medicine. And that is a four year program. These are the two degrees that are offered from this faculty. And this faculty um, presents or offers what we call the composite degree. The composite degree is because we have several departments that come in their own right mm. to offer a common degree to okay. any person who is studying. So, for instance, in this same university, you have a department of chemistry. But if you come to the faculty of pharmacy, we have the department of pharmaceutical chemistry. Oh, okay. So what we do there is basically chemistry, but then it is geared towards the practice of pharmacy. Again, we have the department of pharmacology. You go to other jurisdictions, all the degree they offer there is pharmacology. But here, our pharmacology is added to the chemistry in addition, the, um, the, 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 the faculty also offers pharmaceutics. We also offer pharmacognosy. We also offer pharmacy practice. <laughs> yeah, so, about five different departments come together mm. to offer that composite degree. That's how you can, you can see several departments yeah, dotted yeah, all lots. over the place mm. and then we have the sixth department that is the herbal medicine department which offers that one degree mm. to people who want to come for it okay so, so um prof currently which department are you uh, as we sit here mm. i'm in the department of herbal medicine oh, where okay. i'm heading the okay. department yes okay then i think we will go straight to to it right what is your job how does your work affect me i believe that uh, the university is set up as as problem solvers Excellent. how does the work of professor isaac Ayensu affect anything in ghana thank you very much for all that um, important question mm -hmm. that um everybody needs to ask sure. because um, until now most people don't know what we do in the university and sure. so I'm very grateful for that question so mm. let me take it from a point where a deeper understanding okay. can be acquired so the university established this department department of herbal medicine with a sole reason to Add science and technology to the practice of herbal medicine in the country. Okay. You'd agree with me that there are a number of quacks out there uh, lots. presenting themselves as doctors, as herbalists, as spiritualists, duping people mm -hmm. and giving them all sorts of material purported to be herbal oh, products. Caution. Yes, from all kinds of places. Okay, so 
the government in its wisdom okay um allotted the university the opportunity to promulgate or come up with a program that can add science to that practice what we want to say is that our fathers our grandfathers have handed down some information that was never written okay so basically it's been oral mm. people have said it came to me through dreams through sure. visions sure. somebody taught me and everything had been shrouded in some secrecy so the department's rule is to unravel some of these things by adding scientific knowledge to this practice mm -hmm. so how do we go about that we start by training people it is after we have been able to train a critical mass of people with that scientific knowledge about herbal medicine mm -hmm. that when they begin to practice and you and I begin to assess their services, then we would know that really what our fathers left us is good because now we have a scientific basis, sure. evidence-based research work that shows that yes, what our forefathers left for us, they are really good and we can know who is the right person to practice these things in our country. So the department's sole aim is to add that and to train medical herbalists these he medical herbalists would then be attached to specific hospitals that have herbal medicine units so they are there as in quotes doctors because the training they receive encompasses pharmaceutical sciences so all the ones i talked about with respect to the various departments yeah. they all deal with pharmaceutical sciences mm. so the medical herbalist is trained in pharmaceutical sciences the reason being that in pharmaceutical practice that is where drugs are prepared from chemicals sure not from natural origin mm. okay so there could be issues let me say this that you and I, okay, we are made from the dust. Mm, sure. Good. The plant is connected to the soil. So we all have the same roots with the plants. Yeah. So if anything goes wrong with my body, which is better to correct it, isn't it from the natural? Yeah. yeah. That is why the plant is there. That's why we have the leaves. That's why we have the roots. That's why we have the stem so with all these we are training our medical herbalists to have that scientific knowledge of drug preparation mm. okay the pharmacist takes a poison but prepares it in the right amount such that you take something that is supposed to be a poison mm -hmm. but because of the method of preparation it does you good by healing you sure the same knowledge is what we want to give to our medical herbalists so that in the preparation of the medical uh, plant medicine they will know how much to take okay how much water must be added how much of a preservative can be added how much of another ingredient can be added it is in these sciences that we can establish that no this plant is toxic at this level that plant is okay at this level once we have established this we are able to come out with a product that can solve human beings problem um prof when when was the last for the first batch because i am i, I didn't know that people were trained in in Kane university in herbal medicine I, I didn't know i thought every herbal medicine practitioner was like from my grandfather okay so when when did the first batch come into the system thank you very much um in the year 2001 this department was established under one of our um, groups one of our departments as a small unit yeah 
uh, under pharmacognosy. It's one of our departments. Okay. And uh, by 2005, it became a full-fledged department. department. And since then, it has been on its own. And we have produced several, several um, medical herbalists who are working at various hospitals in this country. No. Yes. Mm. They are there. Some are in academia. Some, in fact, later on, I'm sure you have the chance to speak to some of them. Yeah. Yes, yeah. we have some of them working at the regulatory organization, FDA, Ghana Standards Authority. We have some of them as researchers at Mampong. And then a number of them are on their own preparing okay. medications. So if, if I'm, I'm getting the understanding right, it means that this whole department, as you said earlier, was to bring science and technology into the whole industry of hairbags. Exactly. Because at first it was more like any, any small person or any, in quotes, unindicated person. And they had, they had their ways of a means of applying or issuing out medication and... and okay that is that is great so um um so let me answer a question uh -huh, you asked. Okay. so you were asking how does it sure. affect you sure. as a person mm -hmm. so this is where you are affected that if if we look at statistics over 70 percent of Ghanaians use traditional medicine in one way or the other sure okay so our aim is that if that huge number relying on traditional medicine is not protected we will lose a lot of us mm. okay so that is why we are so excited having this opportunity to even explain to the entire world what we do here so that the next time you want to pick up a herbal medication you know what you can pick sure and you can ask certain salient questions mm. okay so my work here as HOD is to direct the teaching and the research that goes on in this department. Oh, so you are the current HOD of this department? Yes. Oh, okay. And so I have lecturers under my authority. Of course, I also work under authority of my dean, my provost, and sure. then the, the vice person. chancellor. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so whilst here, it's like the basic unit of the university. So everything we do here has a replication or a replica on the entire output of the university. So if it doesn't go well here, it doesn't go well for the university. Sure. Sure. So what we are here doing is that every lecturer has the role he has to play in three key areas. One, we teach. Two, we research. And three, we do what we call community service. I'm coming to how it affects you. Sure. Good. The community service in the various departments differ. But I want to focus on the Department of Herbal Medicine. Mm -hmm. One of my roles as HOD is to liaise with the herbal industry out there. To liaise with the Ministry of Health. Is to liaise with a lot of industries that come into contact with us and then with the international community, community. Mm -hmm. so right here what we try to do is to meet with all the various organizations that practice traditional medicine the problem of people not being so-called scientific or not having the necessary pharmaceutical knowledge in their preparation of their products we meet them at that point. Mm. So from time to time, lecturers from this department enter into their meetings and we are given the opportunity to give them scientific knowledge on what they do. Sure. Sometimes we call them to this campus mm. in a three-day conference and then we teach them specific areas. Let me give an example. You know, before you see any drug, on the market, mm -hmm. any drug, whether herbal or um, allopathic, mm -hmm. that drug 
have should have gone through what we call quality assurance mm. quality assurance would mean you are inputting quality into the product from the time you pick the first raw material until it is on the table to be used by a patient mm. any time between those two periods you want to check on the drug the drug must be of good quality mm. it must be of excellent quality sure three things three things you look up for quality safety and efficacy efficacy means any drug you are taking out there we have worked it out here to be sure that it works and does the work they are saying it should do safety because when you take it it will not kill you like a poison wood sure. quality because any time you produce today and tomorrow there are standards you want to let the drug confirm or conform to okay mm. if today it is 10 tomorrow we measure it is 12 it is not meeting the standard if it was 10 yesterday today it must be 10 tomorrow it must be 10 then we are sure that the drug is doing its work mm. so the person who produces medicine whether our co school or not when they are ready to put their drug out there on the market you have to get the medicine registered with the food and drugs authority mm -hmm. when you go there to register your product they will tell you where is your document to show that your drug is efficacious sure. that your drug is safe that your drug is of the good quality that is what we do here oh, okay so the people come to us mm -hmm. and then we use our laboratories to check Go through for the efficacy of the drug does this drug work you tell us that it contains neem tree it contains mango it contains pear. Mm -hmm. fine we know what is to be contained in these in every, plants uh, yeah. so we check to see if they are there two how did you prepare it did you allow microbes to enter how clean was the environment all these must be checked so we take your drug to the microbiology lab to see the microbial load okay 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 and then we come back to phytochemistry you said this plant contains ABC yes they are all there then we'll give you a letter and then you send it to FDA we've worked with them for a number of years so when we send our reports, they believe our reports, and then they are able to register such products. Oh, so the, 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 the research into these plants submitted by any, any, any practitioner, the research to see it's been efficacious yes, or it's done safe. by we this. Do, yes, we do it here in this faculty, in this department. So any herbal medicine on, on in Ghana, let's say a recognized and a, 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 a drug that is certified by standard board. That's a, it had to come to this. It has come through this department. Okay. And, then, and because we, we cannot do it all, or Noguchi does some, Mampon does some. Any recognized institution that has these laboratories will do it. So as you are sitting, as you are here teaching, if not for your research labs and other things, we wouldn't have gotten the, the level of uh, good um, herbal medicines exactly. and all those things. Exactly. So what we do here is that we also help them improve. For instance, you brought your drug and we see that it is failing microbial load. Okay we won't write a report for you to take it all the way to fda mm. for them to fail you no we come in to support you to do a proper product you see how you are affected sure so very, if very. next time you go out there check if they have fda registration know that it has been through what we do here wow yeah not just KNUSC, but other 
a university sure. and the other institutions that, we are doing and this that, work that, that is the essence of this video that is why you should subscribe that is why you should share because if if we we let ourselves be carried away with with the current situation of the youth not recognizing certain things now professor Ayensu is here probably you didn't know him but then look at how his work is affecting you and i in the house we always go to these herbal shops and we buy we just buy have you wondered how how they are checked how they are prepared because me i'm not that old but i know that those those uh, old or those quack quack doctors have caused a lot of harm yeah. in the system you can have one good uh, herbalist but you can have about 10 of these that are so meaning that professor here the, his work is trying to scrutinize these 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 herbalists and give them the education on how to add science and technology that's right so um i don't know but if i should ask how how does somebody uh drag get to meet you how does okay. yes thank you very much um you see it's it's important we recognize the presence of institutions in this country and so before i get to that um herbalists mm. in the village trying to locate us for his drug to be registered mm. let me try to bring in how the government is also interested in this matter sure. Sure. yes uh, i'm not a spokesperson for the government mm. but i'm telling you what we do together with the government to bring safety to the ordinary ghanaian so the government is interested in traditional medicine and for that reason, the entire Ministry of Health has what we call agencies. Mm -hmm. So one of such agencies is the Traditional Medicine Practice Council. This council is created to ensure that the practice of herbalism is regulated. Regulated to an extent that the medical herbalists who are produced here, they regulate their teaching. Mm -hmm. their employment they also help to train a lot of our herbalists that are out there that have not been through our university system how do they do that these herbalist groups from the district to the regional to the national level have associations mm -hmm. so whoever has a product and has the belief that it is good it is going to help with the health care of Ghanaians you should find yourself registering with one of these groups. The university is connected to these groups from the districts, regional and the national level. And we even have the federation. The federation brings together all the various alternative medicine practitioners. Oh, okay. okay. So the psychics are there, the spiritualists, the um, herbalists, they are come for every group is represented under GAFTRAM. Oh, okay. Good. And the GAFTRAM membership is represented on the council. The universities are represented on the council. Mm. Okay. And then the Ministry of Health is represented on the Traditional Medicine Practice Council. So it is not a cheap council. So your professors are there okay. as members of the council so in regulating nationally mm -hmm. the professors have a role at the council to play and then in addition to the council we have what we call the TAMD traditional and alternative medicine practice directories mm -hmm. the TAMD ensures that policies and training programs are done for all the practitioners okay including the medical herbalists and these are all wings or agencies of the government to ensure that this practice is protected and that people's lives are not taken for granted so if you have a medication that you wish to register first mm. of all get an organization enjoy. of practitioners and within your districts we are there everywhere in this mm. country 
and every Thursday here in Kumasi we have two or three groups meeting at the um, cultural center oh, okay. that's where we normally meet them okay and when we meet we think about the practice what is going on that is not good let's address it sure. uh, there's some quacks amongst us let's weed them out because eventually it affects it's, it's, yeah. the business okay. yeah. uh -huh. and all these areas this department we are involved with them so if you have a product you want to work out with through these organizations they let us know our members are bringing their products okay bring them and then they come in from time to time the various members come for their own training we give them certification after the training sometimes we give them practical assignments as well hey then prof your work is not merely teaching you no very no, very no. very practical and very very tedious yes because for for Kumasi here i'm sure you have other other of other colleagues that are part of this exactly. board but then it's it's very tedious it's very tedious yes wow. so we go all the way to the national mm -hmm. level to make decisions concerning this just that um we, we, we don't blow yeah. our own. we don't go for a meeting and we come and say we've done this sure, done that sure, done sure, no, sure, no, no, sure, no. Sure, sure. but just that things are working out mm. gradually so if i'm taking any medication certified one it means that professor here is working for me so any medicine any cream herbal tea herbal cream anything they go through them or it goes through them before it comes to us i am i'm very touched from 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 your points and i'm sure we wouldn't uh, stretch this conversation but then i am very touched because that notion i am very particular about that uh, part that uh, professors and uh, ken west for now and uh, the uh, upon all the engineers upon all and i'm sure we'll be going to most of the departments please the, go yeah because... we'll be going to most of the department where you would come to a realize that wow then what they are doing they are working for us but then they don't have any platform to just come and tell people i do this i do that i do that professor thank you very much for your work and other things but then quickly you mentioned of uh, this spiritual you said something something do you also regulate them how can science and technology regulate supernatural or, but they will do accept it yes the nation accepts them that is why they are part of the gaftram okay. federation okay but in this department our limitation is to herbal okay. medicine okay. Uh -huh. okay. but the regulator the traditional medicine practice council regulates them okay. and they, are, they have their own organization mm. and they have their membership in the council okay so it's not that they are not regulated they are also regulated so you you, you can't just do anything and go scot-free so, Professor, how many universities uh, have the ability to train uh, herbal medicines in Ghana here? Currently, it is KNUSC which is offering this degree. But I need to add quickly that if you go to UHAS, they have a specialized area that is researching deeply into. Sorry, UHAS is. UHAS is University of Allied. Sciences, oh, okay. health okay. and allied okay. sciences yeah. at yeah. home. Yeah. Oh. Yes, they have a unit that is doing such a thing. And then the various other universities, UCC, um, Legon, they have departments of pharmacognosy and herbal medicine and stuff like that. Oh. But they are not offering a degree okay. oh, as we are okay. offering now. Maybe in the nearest future, they will begin. So the that. first university to start this program yes, would be KNUST. KNUST. Yes. Okay. That is that is very good, and um, um, we we are very happy to to get this insight from from Professor. And um, Professor, I think we would be wrapping up in in, in no time. Um, any 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 message for those who are practitioners? those who are first of all let's go to the practitioners some people still haven't joined any any group any any uh, 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 group 
what would you tell them and after that we the consumers what are some of the things that we do in fact we'll be showing some of the not this is not uh, an advert by the way but then it's their work some of the works that they in fact he has said that virtually every certified or certified uh, herbal medicine is controlled or regulated by this de uh, this department in KN West here and other one like Noguchi and the rest uh -huh. so what uh, advice for the practitioners and advice to those of us who also the consumers, yes, consumers. Okay. Um, for the practitioner if you believe you have been gifted okay to produce medicines that could cure or manage diseases please don't keep it to yourself okay open yourself up for us to do some scientific studies on it to help you register with the food and drugs authority the first step is to join one of the groups within your catchment area it could be the district join them and the modalities are clear once you join them they will bring you all the way to this place sure. every day i receive calls i'm a member of this what do i do i say please come we come in we support you what we do here is that we give you every support if you don't have a label will get you somebody who can design a label for you you don't know how to package we have yeah, experts yeah, 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 who can yeah. help you to package your product because i i there was some time or there was this specific time frame that you realize herbal packaging and labeling of herbal medicine changed exactly yes because we have we have people who are trained specifically oh, okay. to do that so with that i'll move on to our consumers sure. that please be sure that the herbal product you are buying has been certified by the fda the inscription will be written on it if you are not sure confirm with us or confirm with fda fda regional offices are everywhere in the country so if you are not sure of something please confirm with them and before you take any medication please think about your life sure because a wrong medicine can destroy you sure that's sure. the advice i have sure. for our people it's it's very true because getting a fake medicine is not it's not like getting a fake shoe or a fake dress absolutely <laughs> a fake dress will be on your body that's but it. then a fake medicine is entering into your ah, body ah, straight ah, ah, ah. that's it so i think uh, it is very important for us to take care of our in fact professor and his team are working for us but the ultimate or the most important thing is for us to also protect ourselves absolutely if you are buying something make sure you check check the expiry date check the F fda approval in fact some of the medicine they have been approved though they have approval but then the date that was given to them to to be Produce, on the shelf is right. due but they they will sell it, uh -huh. it. so you are you are responsible for your own health and now that we know that professor and his team are working for us we also take care of ourselves is it would it be necessary if your number or any aspect let's say somebody watch this video and he thinks well as uh, they contact you I'll be fine. I'll okay be fine. well <laughs> professor is receiving a lot of course if, so if you if you call us jack lens uh, tv in fact i happen i'm fortunate and happen to be very close to him so if you call me of any issue uh, if it deems fit i will i'll connect it to him or if i tell him he will show us what or when or where to go so that you get your 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 issue uh, resolved now the number is 0249793045 i repeat 0249793045 make sure you subscribe to this uh, channel share it to anybody whom it may it may concern and subscribe so that the next department that will go you also get your uh, benefit from it so we will thank you very much professor thank in fact we don't so. have time to go into other aspects especially <laughs> your private life but then god may if god approves of it another time we might come and we'll talk about that place too 
Thank you, Professor. Yeah, so God welcome. bless you for God your work. You. And um, we appreciate you. If nobody do Jack Lens and <laughs> time with the Professor, we appreciate your work. And keep on doing the good work. May God richly bless you all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.